Hey guys, Blazin here. Uh, it's been a while since I've made this kind of video. Uh, normally I want to try avoiding making these, but there's a lot I gotta address since this channel is kind of moving into a new phase. And uh, let's waste no time and get into it. Starting with not really bad news, but I guess sort of bad news. Okay, uh, so the barrel trauma content, let's start with that. Barrel trauma, what's going on with that? Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be going on another break because my friends are addicted to Diablo 4. Uh, by the time this video comes out, which is June 2nd, or it will come out June 2nd, uh, they will be playing Diablo 4. Uh, who knows how long that'll be before they get tired of that, but yeah. Uh, Barrel Trauma content will be on another break, unfortunately, because they will be playing Diablo 4, and then as for me, well, I mean, obviously I can't make videos without them, so yeah. I got a bunch of bullet points here, so it, and even my bullet points are a bunch of, it's a mess, so bear with me. Uh, but that's Barrel Trauma. Unfortunately, it's going to be going on a long break. Don't worry. Any playlist you see on my channel, like, I, I plan to finish it. But unfortunately, Barrel Trauma is going to be on a break. Alright, so that, that's sort of the bad news out of the way. Uh, what's next? The Halo Infinite. I guess I should... Is there really much for me to talk about? I don't really make videos on this channel much anymore on that game. But I kind of started my channel with Halo, so I guess I should talk about it. Uh, I guess one thing I do want to talk about with Halo Infinite, I noticed there's a classic Halo League going on in Halo Infinite, which is really cool, and it seems to be getting a decent amount of attention. And once again, the cycle is repeating within the Halo community with, you know, should should the game be based on cla on the classic settings or should it be, you know, just stay the way it is. <sighs> I've seen this cycle many times. I would join the Halo Infinite Contact, or Contact, uh, Classic Halo League, but my problem with the Classic Halo League, and it, this is no disrespect to them at all, I'm glad their community is thriving. My, my, my problem with it is that all of their maps are just remakes. As a result, there's nothing new for me to play or learn. It, it's just prettier looking remade maps. Not even Halo Infinite's equipments are being used. So I might as well play Master Chief Collection at that point, right? I don't know. May, they did say... I, I'm not in their Discord or anything, but I did hear that they're, they could be adding in some developer-made maps, which that's fine. Uh, I would like some developer map, dev maps mixed in. And uh, I'm not sure about the equipment part yet, though, but I don't see why not. They should uh, mess around with Halo Infinite's equipment because that's Halo Infinite. I don't want a literally like another like another Halo 3, even though it's not what I mean like literally, but like I want a new classic Halo experience is what I'm trying to say. I don't just want to play classic Halo on old maps that I played dozens, probably more than dozens, thousands of times. I need a new classic Halo experience, and for me, if I were to, if I, if classic, if the CHL for short wants me to participate in their league, I, they don't have to listen to me, obviously, because like I said, their community is uh, growing. Uh, but I, I just need more original maps, like new maps, uh, mixed in with some developer-made maps. It's fine, and I don't mind just a couple remakes sticking around. But I don't like that the the entire map uh, pool is just remakes. Uh, Alright, I want new maps and maybe some developer maps mixed in. And maybe, uh, oh, and uh, almost forgot the equipment. I don't know why Halo Infinite's equipment isn't being experimented in the classic Halo League. I mean, uh, you, they could make it Red Rack, so that way only one person has it. I'd, I'd be okay with that. And same thing with like maybe certain equipment that, like the drop wall, shroud screen, and and like threat sensor, if they add that, uh, they, you know, they can only have one charge. And this is kind of extra. They don't have to do this, but this is just more of a per more of a personal thing for me. Uh, I'd like to see, uh, or I'd like to try out Bandit starts for the for Halo Infinite, just because the Bandit, like, for those of you that are still playing Halo Infinite, you can't deny the Bandit does take uh, more skill to use in the battle rifle. I would like to try Bandit starts for the classic Halo League, but yeah, those are the three. Yeah. The, the main two things are I need a mix of new and dev maps, and I need, or yeah, I need a Halo Infinite equipment mixed in. That's really the only two requirements. Band to start is extra. If they do those, those the first two things, then maybe I will compete in the classic Halo League, and maybe I'll make content on it. But other than that, uh, I have no interest in Halo Infinite. 
I guess something else to talk about Halo Infinite. Uh, the weapon analysis stuff that I did. Most, like, all the all the Halo Infinite weapon analysis I did was just purely for the content. It really wasn't really, like, you know, because I wanted to or anything. It was just me basically just attempting to clout chase, you could say. Just because Halo Infinite is the newest Halo game in the series. And I was hoping maybe, I don't know, something would happen or I would get noticed, but clearly not. And, uh, yeah. And that's why I only did just the rifles and maybe just a couple pieces of equipment. I didn't really continue it. If uh, the numbers were higher, maybe I would have done more. But, yeah. As you can tell, and especially if you can tell from this channel, I'm not the biggest fan of Halo Infinite. Uh, I've stopped playing that game, like, almost a month ago again. Uh, it, it's on and off with that game, and I know it's not just me. It's with a lot of people. Sometimes you... Like, when a new season comes out, you play daily, then you play weekly, and then, like, you, you, you stop playing. <laughs> It happens. I know Halo Infinite Season 4 is going to be teased at E3. Uh, I know that for sure. There's going to be a trailer, but I wouldn't expect anything else. I would be surprised if there's like to tank to tank uh, uh, that project for Star Infinity, or if like Halo Infinite gets a massive update that turns the game around. But I'm not. That that shit's not happening. <laughs> uh, while we're on the topic of Halo, I guess I uh, quickly talk about Master Chief Collection. So uh, first of all. Thank you guys for watching my Halo Reach weapon analysis videos. Uh, I'm having fun making those despite the numbers. The numbers don't really bother me too much because I'm I am the madman making videos on an almost wait is it like ten is it like ten year old game Halo Reach? Almost ten years old, right? No, it's probably past that, like twelve. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm I'm the madman that that's making videos on an over decade old Halo game. But that's okay because I'm I'm having fun making those, and at least that's a series on my channel that I that I can keep going. Like, at least I have, I have a series going on the channel. And, uh... If you're not following me on Twitter, you, you might have uh, seen that I said, uh... That... My last one, the Energy Sword. Uh, that was gonna be my last one for a while. Which, uh, that... It's probably gonna be true. I don't know how often or if I'll get back to Master Chief Collection. Because, uh... Well, uh... Street Fighter Six comes out. And uh, I'll get into Street Fighter 6 and fighting games in a second. But uh, to, uh, while on topic of Master Chief Collection, I don't plan on completely, completely abandoning MCC. I've been thinking about streaming it. Uh, and uh, that's another topic I gotta get into, streaming. Uh, which I guess maybe I'll mix that in now. So for a while, my Twitch has been dead. Uh, I won't lie to you guys, my Twitch has been kinda dead. But hopefully this summer, maybe I can change that. I can try mixing in some streams again. Uh, OBS is been giving me issues uh like i think a lot of my layout and stream elements are fucked well actually no not my stream elements uh and i think even my webcam but i think i got that fixed too so the only thing that's left working on my stream are like the stream elements like the the follow and, and donate notification thing that's working i think and my, i got my webcam working uh, but everything else is blank. I don't have a layout anymore. Uh, I guess I got the two most important parts, right? So may maybe I'll, I'll try and stream. I'll definitely try and stream again this summer and see how it goes. Most of my streams tend to be single player games. I if you looked at my past uh, broadcasts, I haven't really had a multiplayer game really played on Twitch. It, it was Halo Infinite, but not for too long. However, I am planning to stream MCC on stream. So at least I have something multiplayer related, and it's Halo, which I assume some of you guys subscribe to the channel are subscribed because of Halo. <laughs> and I know some of you guys are from Barotrauma as well. I've gotten growth from a couple different games. But yeah, Master Chief Collection streams uh, are a possibility, so at least I have something FPS multiplayer related to stream. And that's... MCC is the Halo... is the game I'm getting for my Halo fix. Uh, not much of Infinite. <laughs> Uh, so I think that's enough with Halo, so, uh, what's, what's next on the list I got here? I guess Diablo 4 real quick, I did try the beta, I never played a Diablo game, I really enjoyed it, I could make a video on it, that's where my friends are at, we'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll try a video and see how it works, same thing what I do with Brown Trauma, I don't know if it's gonna work out, I'll try one video, much like I did with Elden Ring, uh, like, what was it, a year ago, months ago? I did play Resident Evil 4 Remake, that, that was awesome. I didn't- I was gonna make YouTube videos on it, but I didn't know what to make videos on, so I, I don't know if it's kind of too late to make anything on it. I'm thinking about, as far as like survival horror content on this channel, maybe I'll do more of a highlight thing. 
much like I did with my uh, Resident Evil Village. Uh, some single player games. Uh, I got some games just sitting on my Steam that I could stream. Uh, I see that Outlast Trials is in early access. Maybe I could try that, stream it, and probably upload a video on it. Uh, I noticed there's a really cool Starship Troopers uh, game that's also in early access. Maybe I can try that. Uh, Warhammer. So I know Warhammer is a huge fucking franchise, and I didn't even know what the fuck I was looking for. But at least in this channel, if I ever do some Warhammer or, or if I stream on Twitch, chances are it's going to be the FPS games. So I have Warhammer Space Marine, the first one. I also have Warhammer uh, the Bolt Gun, the latest one that's like Doom inspired. I also want to wouldn't mind streaming some Metal Hell Singer. That game I plan to do a review on. I really like that game. And Callisto Protocol got a horde mode. So once again, I probably could do a video or maybe stream that as well. But anyways, those are some single player or just other games in general that I could maybe stream or make one video or two of those. I think that's pretty much most that I wanted to talk about. Now to get into the main topic as to why I'm making this video. And that is because I think this channel might move over to the uh, fighting game genre for who knows how long. Because as of the making this video, when you see this, uh, Street Fighter 6 will be out. And, well, I plan on riding the new golden age of fighting games, starting with Street Fighter 6. Now, I haven't, I've got some ideas of some content I want to make, but I don't know if, you know, if they will come to fruition. Uh, but yeah, I'll be streaming some Street Fighter 6, maybe. And then after that, it, in September, I think, comes out MK1. And then like probably early 2024, if I had to guess, there will be Tekken 8. There's a new golden age of fighting games ahead of us, if you're not aware. And I plan on riding that wave, and let's see where that, that takes my channel. Once again, I'm sorry if you subscribe for like the Halo Reach weapon analysis stuff, or Halo in general. Uh, it's either it's either I move on and like play play a game that I enjoy and I take that my channel with me, or this this channel stays like an FPS like shooter genre, and it, that means you're not gonna get any content from me for like ever. I mean, even if you're a Halo fan and every and the content creators you watch, chances are they've already you know said this a million times. But Halo is not a sustainable game for a channel. Uh, anymore. It, I mean, be be honest with yourself as a Halo fan, even if you love it. Halo is down in the fucking dumps, which pains me to say. If things were different, you know, my Halo Infinite videos on the weapons I did would probably gotten thousands of views. Who, who knows? I'm just guessing. And I would have kept playing Halo Infinite and kept making Halo Infinite content, but Halo Infinite is what it is. It released the way it did. But yep, fighting games might be the new wave. That's why you're seeing Street Fighter 6 in the background. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do to make out with that. Could make some guides, especially in my background since I'm mostly a, I've come from a first-person and third-person shooter background, and maybe I can help uh, other people that are also within the shooter genre learn fighting games as I did. So who knows? We'll, we'll see what I do with that. I, obviously, making a 10-year-old making videos in a 10-year-old game is not gonna boost my channel. I mean, I am happy where I where like I've gotten this far with like with what I've been making. And thank you guys for sticking around. But uh, if you choose to unsubscribe, hey, no worries. <laughs> I've seen people unsubscribe from this channel before, so you're good. Uh, but yeah, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. So to sum up everything, uh, channel's moving over to the new fighting game wave. Uh, hopefully I should also mention my new, well, not really my new, but my updated channel banner should be up as well to uh, better reflect maybe what my channel could be about. And so I have more freedom to do what I want. Uh, profile picture could change, but I haven't figured out what I want yet. Uh, but once again, for those that watch my Halo Reach weapon analysis, and even if you watch my Halo Infinite weapon analysis, uh, thank you. Especially the Halo Reach ones, I, I, I take my time with those. It prob You probably can't tell my Halo Infinite uh, weapon ones, but I kind of rushed those a bit. I don't know if you could tell or not, but I kind of did. MCC won't be completely abandoned, it could be like my shooter uh, itch. So, who knows, maybe those Halo Reach weapon analysis, you know, they won't be on, on break for too long, I, I might continue it. it the, the break might be smaller rather than bigger. Uh, Halo Infinite, at, it, it, don't expect anything, unless, like I said, with, with the classic Halo League stuff, maybe I'll do some of that, but other than that, Halo Infinite's off, like, just off the books for me. And uh, plan on Twitch, uh, streaming on Twitch more often this summer, and we'll see where that goes. And like I said before, it's either I play new games and 
but that means you might not see much content on this channel or you know I go play new games and take my channel with me so take your pick and uh, that's pretty much it so uh, I'll see you guys in the next one whether that be on Twitch or on YouTube so yeah peace Real wins! <laughs>